I'm just going to give you a quick snippet of how I added a new tool. I just recently bought this uh, three-quarter inch extended bull bit from Rip Precision Tools. In fact, I talked about it in a quick video before. So this is what it looks like. And I haven't used this tool before, but I needed to, I, I'm, I'm making this uh, shamrock bowl you see down here in the corner, and I wanted to use this bit. So it's one inch uh, cutting length here, and you could actually get one and a quarter inches deep if you wanted to on this bit. And so as I went to use it in the project, I noticed it wasn't in my tool database, and so I needed to put it in real quick, and... I'm starting to take a few minutes whenever I see those kind of things and make informational video because I know that there are times when I want to know how to do something and I forgot how to do it and a real quick snippet video might help. So in this video I'm going to focus on just adding a tool into the tool database when I find that it's missing. I'm using a new computer. I bought a Mac a while back and so my tool database isn't completely up to speed and I haven't taken the time to get it up to speed so I find myself needing to add bits once in a while and thought uh, somebody else might be interested in how you could add a bit real quick that you've purchased. Now I purchased this from uh, ripprecisiontools.com and they have a tool database that you can download and use. I've actually created a video on how to do that in the past. In this case, I'm only going to bring in a couple of the tools, uh, not the whole tool database. So hopefully this will help somebody pick up how you could quickly enter some tools. I'm in the middle of making a, a bowl, a shamrock dish, I'll call it, and shooting that. And one of the things I realized is that I haven't imported my uh, latest bowl bit, which is a three-quarter inch one inch cutting flute that I got from uh, Rip Precision Tools and as a, as a quick reminder this is how you enter the bowl bit. I wanted to show real quickly on my screen. Let's blow this up. I'm on my Mac so it, it always looks just a little bit different and so the first thing I'm going to do hit close here and here where it says my dish pocket I've got a bit in there, but it's not the actual extended bowl bit. It was something I was playing around with. So I'm going to remove this bit right here. And then I'm going to hit select. And I have my tool database here, and I want to add that bowl bit. That's one way. The other way I could have done it was I could have come up here, tool pass, tool database, to enter it in the database. Either way will work. I previously downloaded the file from the RIP Precision Tools database on their website. I have a video on that. I then exported part of it, the bowl and dish bits, into a separate tool group so that I could import it here. So now I want to import rip bowl and tray bits. Hit open. Merge, no overriding. And so now those tools will be available in the database. It added it at the bottom. So if you open this up, these are the various tools I just added. Hit OK. So now that I've added that tool, I can go ahead and modify this uh, tool path that I had used with an old database information. I'm going to remove what I called extended bowl bit, and I'm going to select that new tool. And it's down here, remember, and it happens to be bowl bit. 750 three quarter inch radius so it's a three quarter inch radius uh, tool he's entered it in as a radius to end mill uh, its tip radius is 0.25 that's the uh, corner part of the dish the pass depth uh, 0.25 that looks good to me i'm going to make a little tighter step over later but at now he's got 16,130 inches per minute that all looks good. I'm going to select that tool. Now, the one thing I do want to do, I'm going to come back and edit that tool. Remember, I'm doing this separate because I don't want to change what's in the tool database because normally that'll be fine. I'm going to take this down to about, oh, I'm going to say 10% step over just uh, so I have extra smooth bottom. Hit OK. Hit Calculate. And we will take a look at how this looks when we carve it. So the first thing I want to do just real quickly is carve my epoxy 
pocket that I've done up on top. I'm going to hit pre. I'm going to hit preview that. And I had those colored green, so let me color that green just for the ability to see it. Then the next thing I want to do is test this dish pocket that I just uh, made, and I'm going to hit. Uh, that's that big bowl bit. Hit preview visible toolpath. Okay, as you can see, it's cut into the bowl here. All right, then I will do the round over and the profile cut just to see how that's going to look. Looks pretty good. Uh, I'm actually going to be doing a video on this possibly, so I'll save how I went all through all that later. For now, I just wanted to give you a quick glance at what it should look like. Well, that's the video. I hope uh, you got a quick lesson on how to add a tool or a group of tools into your tool database and you keep it in memory so that if you need a quick tutorial because you, you're trying to do it you can come to my channel and grab that video and hopefully it'll help you you can skip the introduction because you already know what it's about I'm looking at making more of these instructional type of videos and uh, uh, making a playlist so that when people are in a quick hurry and they want to look how to do something they think of me and my channel and how they might be able to use it to their benefit give me your thoughts on that you think that would be a good series a good playlist uh, do you think that my teaching style will help people get things done quickly if you like what you're seeing please give me a thumbs up and let me know more importantly hey give me a comment if you think i should pursue adding more short snippet instructional videos to the channel and putting them in a vectric playlist or some other playlist that makes it easier to identify things and last but not least if you want to stay up to speed on videos that i'm creating please go ahead and uh, subscribe to the channel and Hope you're having a great day and I hope this was useful to some of you.